So how do you share your screen in Zoom? Well, in this video, I want to just quickly show you how to. There are tons of reasons why you might want to share your screen, whether it's to show a presentation that you've done or just to share something you found. Well, in this video, we're going to kind of cover both of them. So what we can do is we can open up our Zoom meeting and now you will have a big green button saying share screen. If it's too small, that might be gone. So you either need to expand the window uh, or hit the more and then share screen. Now, before we go into this, I do wanna recommend that you go into your settings to change this. So potentially the quickest way of getting to this, we're just gonna hit uh, next to this and then video settings uh, and then share screen. Now this is just going to uh, give us some options, but really the main thing I wanna point out to you is this down here. When I share my screen in a meeting, automatically share desktop or show all sharing options and the same done here in a zoom room select this to be show all sharing options because if not it might just default to a screen that you didn't mean for it to show i know i've been on calls where people have uh, accidentally shared their emails for example because they had it open on a second screen and just hit share and it chose to share that one so yeah make sure to show all sharing options uh, now let's just close this down quickly and come into share screen. Now this is going to show the options. Uh, if not, it will just automatically start sharing. And like you can see, this is desktop one, desktop two. I don't want it to be sharing desktop one. That could potentially have sensitive information on it that I don't want to publicly share. Could have, say, for example, uh, my notes for the meeting. It could really have anything on it. We want to make sure that we have the option to choose what we're sharing. Now, I've got over here a Chrome window. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. And now we can select to share sound if we want. This is going to kind of pick up anything. So if you do get like a text, for example, it will also share that. So just be cautious of that. If you're doing this, make sure to put your computer on do not disturb and then optimize for video clip. This is going to kind of optimize it if you're sharing a video clip, but I'm not. So I'm going to hit share. And there we go. We now have our kind of zoom window which is just this tab of our options and it's got a big you are sharing your screen with a bit around it so i can kind of select here to see what i'm sharing um and then i can also hit this pencil to edit so say for example i might want to come in here and edit to have me on the screen as well. This is going to virtually kind of cut me out of my background in Zoom. And then I can also select over here to uh, kind of have me as two separate windows. If I want to adjust this, uh, I can change it down in here. So you can see how this is, it's a very versatile kind of thing. And there we go. So we can kind of make this uh, as big as we want we can change what the background looks like yeah you can really see how this can kind of be become quite interesting because there we go and now if i hit share that's going to kind of save it and then once it's here you can now see what you're uh, sharing and now you also have the option again of uh, kind of having a a just kind of virtual background uh, instead of cutting you out of the background so you can have you and your screen uh, rather than you kind of both in the same window um, this one is a potential to use um, it could be quite nice but most of the time just hit share like that and that's what people have kind of come to expect now because I set earlier to share audio if I didn't I can hit that pencil again and hit share audio uh, it means that I can come down on this page, for example, and start playing this video. So you can kind of see where this can come in handy. Uh, this could be a YouTube video. It could be a whole load of things. Uh, it could be a PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation, whatever it is. And then when I want to stop, I can just hit stop share. Now we do also have some other options on this. So when we go into screen share, you can see there is an advanced so we can select a portion of the screen slides as a virtual background. This is quite good. I can upload a keynote or PowerPoint file and that's going to like it did before, put them behind me, share them as that. I can do content from a second camera. 
The issue with this is that you don't necessarily know which camera it's going to be. So I could select on this, for example, and hit share. And that's just picked my MacBook Pro camera. Now, I don't really have an option to change this other than switch camera up here. Uh, that can that's going to cycle through any kind of cameras that I've got. I for me that's just a bit scary. Uh, I don't want it to randomly pick a camera. So yeah, I I don't necessarily use that. We can also though share files. So we could share a Google Drive file, for example. Uh, the same on any of these other ones, and just kind of find that file if we want. The same as these other ones. So you can just share that file. Uh, and then also if you have Zoom apps, you can do that. And then I can either via AirPlay share. Okay, so now I can uh, on my phone hit to mirror to a screen and I can see Zoom Owens MacBook Pro. Now I can select that. And there we go. Now I'm showing my phone screen so I could be uh, for example, showing these courses that we've got and maybe this is, I'm just going to kind of explain it to you or if I'm teaching, for example, Instagram. Now here is one of the issues is that it can be a bit flaky. And so I don't overly like using this because it can quite easily lose connection. And again, we can do all of the things we did before with the layouts. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop mirroring and stop sharing. And what I would recommend doing instead is iPhone or iPad via cable. So there we go. And now I've already trusted this, but maybe I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. So there we go. Now over here, I can see that this is sharing the same. And so long as the cable's good and my phone stays on, uh, I can just continue to share this. It's going to be a lot more reliable than trying to do it uh, over AirPlay and screen mirroring. So I can hit to stop the share. And so you can really see kind of how this is starting to build up. So we can do it based off of the window itself. We can do it based off of the overall screen and you can see it kind of highlights that screen. We can do it from another device. We can bring these files in directly. We can also select a video. And so say for example, I've got this video here. Uh, what I can do is I can so start to play that and people are now seeing uh, this window and again I can put myself on top of this if I want maybe I'm talking about this video uh, maybe it's actually just something that I'm teaching you how to do or kind of just this is uh, potentially like a lecture or something and I'm wanting to teach you uh, what is going on I can again just select that uh, and this layout is now showing me as well. So yeah, I can now hit stop share. And so if, say for example, again, if I wanted to share a portion of my screen, I can again select this layout and then I can grab this and drag it to be where I want it. Again, I don't overly like that. I don't really get to choose this beforehand. So, so for example, I just want to show this part of my browser, uh, getting rid of this top section as well, then I can do that. But again, I would have liked to be able to, to adjust what section of the screen is done beforehand and then move that to there. So that's really it for screen sharing. Just make sure if you want to add sound to tick this share sound. If you don't want to be playing sound, I'd leave it unticked. Just means that if something goes off on your system, uh, say you get a text or something, for example, uh, it's just going to mean that it doesn't uh, come through. And also, if you are the host of this Zoom meeting, uh, what you can do is to come into here, go to share screen and you can choose as well who can share screen. Uh, so whether all participants can uh, or just the host and who can start sharing when someone else is already sharing. And that's gonna for me be host only so yeah that's really how you share your screen in zoom i hope this helped if it did then make sure to like this video and why not check out our playlist on zoom tutorials i'll see you in one of them videos